Hello friends, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And a surprise, today the Luminar team has snuck out a update to Luminar Neo, which is version 1.23.0. If you are in Luminar, just go to the upper left corner, Luminar menu, and click check for updates in that drop down, and that will take you to the update. Now, be aware that sometimes these updates roll out around the globe in kind of a phased order, which means if it's not there right this moment, just check back again after a while. There's some key features that are included in this update that I think you're really going to love. There's a number of different things. The two big ones are layer merging and the updated or improved vignette tool that includes kind of a post crop vignette. There's some other things as well that I think you guys will find useful and helpful. Uh, and all of this is really designed around an improved user experience, better performance and things like that. Uh, and even presets have some improvements as well, such as a counter that indicates how many uh, preset packs you have, how many presets are in a pack, and you can even rearrange the presets that are in your favorites or in my presets. But I think if you're like me, the two big things are really gonna be the improved vignette tool and layer merging. That's what we're diving into in this video. Now, the first thing I wanna show you is the vignette tool. So, by the way, here's a purchase preset category. You can see there's a 12 there. Uh, that indicates the counter that I talked about. If I go into favorites, you can see I can just drag and drop these to rearrange them uh, at will. So pretty handy stuff. I think that's nice, but I think the vignette is one that's been talked about for so long by so many people. And I'm just going to put a vignette on this. And uh, let's say if it's pre-crop, uh, in the old days, oops, I'm going to go other way with feathering. I just want to make this very obvious. But in the old days, if you had a vignette like that, which again, you wouldn't do because that's a bit over the top, but it's very visible. And if you went to crop and let's say you transpose this and hit apply, what happens is your vignette doesn't fit the new crop because it's uh, not designed that way. But uh, I'm going to transpose that back and go back to regular. And now there I am. Now what I can do is in the vignette tool, I can just go here and choose post crop. And now what it's going to do is recognize the crop so that when I do this transpose on my photo like that and hit apply, you're going to see the vignette now follows the crop. So that comes in super handy and super useful. I think a lot of people are going to be excited about that. And I think that's uh, it's a great addition. And I've heard about that from people for a long time. But I have to admit, uh, and, and my assumption is that you feel the same way, and that is that I'm really excited about this merge layer feature. It's incredible. And in fact, it inspired me enough that I started writing up and I'm going to have this ready for you at the link down below. I've got a, a Luminar Neo layers cheat sheet. This is 10 pages of information I'm putting together about how layers work because it is kind of a confusing topic at times. This cheat sheet's available to anyone that joins my newsletter. There's a link down below. You also get some of those presets I just showed you and things like that. So if you're interested in this free layers cheat sheet for Luminar Neo, check the link down below and I'll see you there. Uh, and uh, I will, uh, this is just a free download. It's just the information that you can have. So let's jump into this layer merge because it's exciting stuff and I think you're going to love it. You may know already, upper left corner, click to add a layer. I'm going to go grab a texture that's just going to stick out pretty uh, pretty well here. There you go. It's like a rusted kind of uh, texture. I'm going to drop the opacity to 24 so you can see it better. Here's the thing. In the old days, right, prior to this release, let's say I wanted to increase the saturation on my photo. Well, in order to do that, you would actually have to go into each individual layer and increase saturation. So I'm going to do this. You'll notice it's highlighted on the top layer, so I'm on the texture. If I increase, uh, increase saturation and vibrance, the only thing that it's impacting is saturation and vibrance of the texture, right? It's not impacting the bottom photo. So if I hide this image or layer, there's my bottom photo, no changes in saturation. If I show it again, there it is. And so all that's happening is I'm adjusting color in that texture. Well, that's not really what I want. I want to increase saturation of vibrance, let's say, again, uh, just as an example here, uh, but in the combined photo. Well, what you would have to do in the past is a couple of things. Number one, go into the lower layer, and here I can increase saturation and vibrance. And now, if I go back to the top layer, and I'd have to increase it here as well. So you'd have to do this on each layer in order to get the combined look. Now, it doesn't look good. It's just very visible. That's why I'm doing such big numbers. But that's the point, is you had to do this individually, or you had to export the photo, and then take that new photo that included the texture on top, re-import it and then make adjustments. But what you can do now is just merge layers. So I'm going to revert to original. 
I'm going to go back and I'm going to add that texture as a layer and it's going to sit on top and I'm going to drop the opacity to let's say 25 or so. Now if you want to add a, uh, a merge layer, all you do is you click the shift key and you highlight the different layers that you want to include and then you right click and click merge layers. Now what happens is you have a merge layer which is essentially as the name implies it merges the two layers below it. Wh whichever ones you've selected, I selected the texture and of course the base image. Now I've got this photo on top which includes both of them basically jammed together in one image. So now if I go and increase color uh, by increasing saturation and vibrance, it's impacting the entire image, uh, the combined. So in other words, I save myself a lot of time. I don't have to export, re-import, and then colorize that one, or I don't have to do it on the individual layers. I just merge them and boom, i am got it all together and I'm ready to go. So that's super powerful. And what I want to do is give you another example, and I'm going to uh, just fix that so I'm not staring at these crazy colors. But I've got two images here from Adara, and I'm going to show you another example of how I like to use this new merge layer function. So that's a darker image, and that's a brighter image. The thing I like about the brighter image is, of course, that the foreground is brighter. And this is very common in landscape photography. We take multiple exposures. That sky looks better. That foreground looks better. So good sky, good foreground. What I want to do is merge them together. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the good foreground as my base image or base layer. I'm going to add a new layer and I've already loaded it here. And this is the darker one, which is going to sit on top. Now that blend looks pretty good and I haven't even done anything. And all that's doing is taking 50% opacity of the top image blended with the bottom. But that's still a little too dark in the, in the bottom. So what I want to do is mask in that sky so that I have the nice sky from the top image blended with a nice uh, foreground from the bottom image. So I'm just going to do this really quick with a linear gradient and just drop that in here. Something about like that. And now I've got at 50% opacity that sky, the better sky, and the better foreground blended together, right? If I go to 100, it's probably a little too much on the sky, so I'm going to leave it at about 50. Well, here's the thing. Now I'm ready to edit the photo. But again, in the old days, I would have to go in and edit the sky uh, image first and then go back and edit the base image. And so you're never editing one thing. You're trying to edit two, and then you got to step back and look at them to get, it just becomes challenging. And so again, merge layers, uh, shift and click, right click, merge layers, select that. It's going to stick them together and put this merged image on top of that stack. And then I can go apply my color look to that one. Okay, and there you go. I have a merged layer that is the com combination of those two, and it's sitting on top of the stack. So here's my original on the very bottom, the raw file, and the second one is the other raw file with a better sky. And then on top, I've got a new PNG file, which is the combined version of the two. And now I can go in with develop and make some adjustments. I can pull down those highlights a little bit, maybe lift some of the shadows, and then I can apply color looks to this. Maybe I want to go into landscape and apply some golden hour across the image. Maybe I want to come into color harmony, add a little bit of brilliance and warmth, and kind of bump up this sunrise look. And I'm just kind of playing with the, with the sliders here. I don't have a real plan for the photo, but you can see I'm now editing a combined photo. So it makes my editing experience quicker and easier and just cleaner overall. And that's the power of having the ability to merge layers. And so very quickly, I was able to take the foreground from one photo, the sky from another one, stick them together, and then add a color look or color grade across that image, the combined image, without having to fuss around with a whole bunch of other things. It's much quicker, it's much easier, and it's uh, just a better way to go about editing. So adding this merge layer feature here in Illuminar is a big deal. I think you're really going to like that. Now I see a spot in the sky. I need to do some cleanup. This is not a full edit, but this is just a demo of some of the things that you can do with the ability to merge layers. So I'm excited about that. I suspect you are too. Don't forget, I've got that free ebook, which is right here. I've got the link down below if you want to check that out. And um, I'm wrapping that book up and it'll be available at that link as soon as you see this video. Don't hesitate to leave any questions at the, uh, you know, down below. I'll be back soon with more videos. And if you have particular questions about layers that you'd like me to address in future videos, leave those below as well. And thanks for watching, my friends. I appreciate it. You guys take care. And until next time, adios.